Shall we see what 11,000 reps feels like in T33? <laughs> I chickened out at 9,000 there. <laughs> Let's use third gear. We'll try to hit 11,000. <laughs> oh, that sounds amazing. Thinking it's pretty loud in here, but remember, this car has no sound deadening at all in it so far, it's just the bare tub. It'll be a lot quieter when it comes to production cars. So that's sixth gear, 70 miles an hour. Remember, T33 has been designed more as a, not an everyday car because you don't put a V12 that revs to 11,000 revs in an everyday car, but it's more everyday than T50. But the good thing is, if you got to drive one of these every day, you can have just so much fun with the engine. feels already. I thought driving a mule, um, my experience of George with T50 development, how's it going to feel? How, how far removed from a production car would it be? And I have to say, yeah, I mean, you can see the the basis of the car as far as the fit and the finish, all that stuff. Mechanically, it is absolutely superb. One of our principles is driving perfection. T33 is absolutely going to make the grade. The only reason I came back was because I'd run out of fuel. <laughs> Just incredible. Absolutely incredible where this car is at this early early stage in its development I mean it says mule on the side but it is so far advanced from that it's really about everything that's under the under the body right now the mechanics of it all and whether that's powertrain uh, whether that's the super light chassis 
you've got aluminium tubes, carbon composite panels bonded to them to create this very stiff chassis. And it's all working. It's all working so, so well. I mean, just the gear shift already. Just, it's just using your fingers, just very small movements. The steering is super precise. Uh, power steering full time now, unlike T50, but it's all just come together. So if you go back to when we did the launch of this car, Gordon said it was inspired by all the cars that he lusted after in the 60s, all those cars that were so beautiful, so pure of design, and quite frankly, that he couldn't afford to buy as a, as a teenager in South Africa. So that's where this design came from. And as people do with mules and prototypes, we put a really cool camouflage on it so people can take pictures of it and see the precise shape of the car. But it's about what's under the skin with this car as well. This driving perfection that we talk about and this car is going to go as well as it looks. You know, we're making a hundred coupes like this, a hundred spiders and potentially a third variant. Making a car like T50 for the company, for everybody involved, including myself, is such a, was such a, a heady, just program to be involved in. You always wonder what's, what's the second program going to be like? What's T33 going to be like? And I'm absolutely buzzing. I don't know if you can tell. This, yeah, this is going to be good. So we've talked about the shape and some of the mechanical stuff, none of which we're going to show you yet. But come and have a look at the aero underneath the car. Look at the size of the tunnels. It gives the car downforce. And a lot of that comes from there. It sounds different than T50. It's the, the architecture is basically the same. Because the pipes come out together, it changes the note of the engine just a little bit. So that's what you'll be picking up when you hear this car for the first time and you're, you're right there. I've got to go write a test report now, believe it or not, on this car and what I thought. And if I was a school teacher marking homework, some A's going out to the team, the team that have worked so hard. There's now three mule cars and already, there's one here in Millbrook, there's another two at different parts of the world doing different jobs already to speed up the development process of T33. I'm going to leave you with a fact, and that is that T33's power to weight ratio is pretty much the same as the McLaren F1. So it's going to go as well as it looks. Thank you so much for joining me for my first drive of this car, your first look at it, and we'll see you next time.